Hi and welcome to the latest of my macrame tutorials. This is actually a tutorial that I have done previously but I'm going to update it for the March 2023 um, creative craft shows at the NEC and also this will apply if you are a monthly subscriber because this is March's subscription box. So we're going to be making a macrame bunny okay i'm going to show you how to make two separate knots so we're going to make the, uh, the lark's head knot and a square knot and then round here we're going to make the false um lark's head knot okay so today i have got a seven centimeter ring a wooden ring you can use cord curtain hooks or you can use the, the rings, if you've got one of the kits, you've got the ring inside the kit. Um, if you're a sub monthly subscriber, you've got two, so you can make two bunnies. I've also got some macrame cord, and this is just a natural uh, a three millimeter um, cotton cord. I've got a pair of scissors, obviously. I've got some paper flowers, some um, craft flowers. I mean, you can use whatever kind of flowers you like. You don't have to use flowers. You can use something else if you want to. And these were available in the majority of different craft shops and uh, stores. Uh, and I'm also working on my cork board, which I normally use because it means that I can pin my work to secure it there we go whilst i'm i'm pulling the knots and it just it means it's not going here there and everywhere okay you make sure you've got everything you need grab a cup of tea coffee whatever you fancy and i'll see you in a second Okay, so with my yarn, I'm just going to find the end, and I am going to cut myself. And again, if you if you want to measure exactly, absolutely fine. You can use a tape measure, uh, but I'm going to measure myself three meters, which is approximately like an arm's width. Okay. I'm going to measure myself one three metre cord and then I'm going to use that to measure myself a second three metre cord. Okay, and for this size ring, three metres will be plenty to do the two ears. Okay, and then after we've done the two ears, we will use another cord to do around the ring. Okay, so I've cut my two cords. I am now going to, there we go, make the ends meet, All right? So this is just with one of the cords. So just take one of your cords first, make your ends meet. You're going to go back all the way to the other end and you've got your loop there okay now that loop is going to go from the front to the back through the middle of the ring okay and then I'm going to put my hand through that loop and then that is ready to grab those two cords and pull them all the way through okay now that is what we call a lark's head knot, which is one of the most basic knots for joining a cord to a, um, a project, whatever you're working with. In this case, a ring, it may be a wooden dowel, um, whatever you're working on, it could be a metal moon or star or whatever. Okay, so that's one lark's head knot. Now, I'm going to take my second cord here and again make the ends meet 
go all the way back to the other end. There we go. Oops, I need to straighten it out. There we go. So there's my loop. And once again, I'm going to go from the front through the center of the ring to the back, open it out, and then grab those cords and pull them through. Okay. Oh, and there we go. We've got our two cords. Let me just put that in a bit firmer. There we go. Right, so if you are familiar with macrame and you've done a square knot before, then that's absolutely fine. You just carry on. But for those of you that have not done a, made a square knot first before and this is your, your first time, I will go through it step by step. You can stop the video however many times you want to, pause it, rewind it, go over it. And there are also um, separate tutorials on my channel where I go through basic macrame knots. So I've got the centre two cords here. OK, and I've got a left hand cord and I've got a right hand cord. Now, these centre two cords actually do not do anything because they are called the holding cords. So all they're going to do is hold the knot together. Okay. It's the left hand cord and the right hand cord, which are going to make the knot. And they are called the working cords because as the name suggests, they're the cords that do the work. Now, I used to be a primary school teacher, teach little infants. So I used to make up little rhymes and sort of say things look like other things to help them remember. It doesn't matter if you're an infant or if you're a junior or if you're a senior or if you're 50 or 60 or 70. The same principles apply. If I tell you sort of like a saying or a little rhyme or something, it will help you remember. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is the best way that I have found of teaching that people remember how to do it. Okay, so it will all become clear in a second. So with my left hand cord, I'm going to put that, that, that cord, oh, it's trying there, yeah. And it's going to go over my centre holding cords. So to me, that's an L. And this is my L loop. Some people see a number four. In my head, it's an L. And I remember L because it's on the left. Now, I just hold those tight with my finger there so they don't move. Now, with my right hand cord... I am going to go over the top of that L cord. I'm going to go under those two holding cords. So again, let me just pop that through. So I've gone over, under, and now from the back, I'm going to come up and through that L loop. So I've gone over, under, up and through. So that's my little rhyme. I don't mean to sound like a primary school teacher, but it does work and it'll help you remember. OK, so that's half a square knot. Now, at the moment, there's a little bump on the right hand side. So we know that we've only done half a square knot. I'm now going to do the second half, which is the same, but it's like in reverse mirror image. So with my right hand cord, I'm going to put it over 
those two holding chords. To me, that's a P. So this is my P loop. And with my left hand chord, I'm going to go over. I'm going to go under the two holding chords. And then I'm going to come up and through. Put it all the way. So I went over, under, up and through. And then, as you can see, I haven't pulled it too tight. I don't want to pull it too tight because if I do, I'll lose the definition of the knot. And I want to actually see the knot because that's what gives the macrame its, its nice pattern. So now I know I've done one complete square knot because the bump here is on the left now. Okay, so I've done one square knot. So I did L over, under, up and through. And I did P over, under, up and through. So I'm going to do that again. As I say, if you need to stop, rewind it. I'll do it a bit quicker this time. I won't do it in my uh, infant teacher's voice. So there's my L going over the top. And then with my right hand cord, I'm going over, under, up and through. And then bring it all the way there. And then I'm going to do my P. And then with my left hand cord, sorry, I'm shaking, aren't I? I'm going to do over, under, up and through. I always just hold it just to keep it secure because then it doesn't wibble wobble all over the place. And there we go. I've now got one bump. And I've got two bumps there. So I know I've done two complete square knots. Now, for the first ear, we're going to make one continuous row of 15 square knots. So I've done two. I'm going to do another 12. So I'm going to do LP, 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 and so on. You do that now until we've got 15 square knots and I'll meet you when we're done. Okay, so I've now done my 15 because I've got 15 bumps on the left hand side. So I know I've done 15 square knots. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the first ear. So again, I still do this upside down because I just find it easier to begin with. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend my row or my column of square knots and then and again there are different ways of doing this this is just one way that i'm going to show you okay but we're going to join the cord to the ring with like a, a false lark's head knot okay so we're just joining to the the ring so i've got here my inside cord so my my so now I've bent it, it's on the right, it's the one closest to the others. I'm going to go over the top of the ring, okay? And then I'm going to bring it back through the ear. So I've gone over through the centre of the ring and I've brought it back through this ear loop here, okay? Now I'm going to cross over here okay and again if you need to stop go back that's absolutely fine so I've crossed over that oop, that cord there and now I'm going to go through the back and can you see I've got this little loop here where my fingers are pull that and I'm going to go through the loop and there you go, it makes like a lark's head knot. Okay, it's joined the cord to the ring so it matches the first two. Okay, all right, I'm going to go through that again. 
but this time and again you might need to turn it over so you know where you are right so this time we're going to use here we are the far left hand cord okay so i'm going to go over the center bring it through this time through this loop okay pull it nice and tight there now i'm going to cross it over so i've gone over that first cord then i'm going to go from the back this time through the ring and then through that loop okay and there you have got one bunny ear and we know we've got one bunny ear because we've got one, two, three, four of those bumps, okay, which is the lark's head knot. Now, that's one ear. I'm now going to do the second ear. But to do the second ear, we're going to swap our cords around. And this is to maximise the use of the cords that we've got because now you will have two short cords okay which were your working cords before and they're going to become the holding cords and then you've got a long cord either side so you've got a long cord as your l and a long cord as your p Okay, so now we're going to make another row of 15 square knots. So let me just remind you. So do your L and then you do over, under, up and through. Okay, so that's half. Okay, now don't worry if you think it's all a little bit lost here where you join because again what you can see is where you join it actually makes it it actually makes it sturdier here okay once we've finished it so that was my l and now i'm going to do my p there's my p and i'm going to do over under up and through pull that all the way through and there is my first square knot for this row, or this column, okay? So make another row of 15 and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've now made my second lot of 15 square knots and I'm going to bring it back around here and bend it into shape. So I've got my second ear and again, I'm going to use the closest one to the previous ear, so like the far right cord, and we're going to join it to the ring again in exactly the same way. So go over the wooden ring, through the middle, and then through this ear loop, and then bring it all the way through, okay. Right, so I've gone over, under and through the ear loop. Now I'm going to take it across that cord. Okay, Ooh, I don't want to do it too tight. I just don't want to do it too loose either. Right, so I've taken it across that cord. Now I'm going to go from the back of the ring Okay, and notice I've left myself a little loop here. I'm going to go from the back, then bring it through from the front to there, and then just tighten it up. And again, you should have like that bump at the front, and that is our second false lark's head knot. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the far left hand cord. So I'm going to take it over, through the centre of the ring and then bring it back through that loop. Okay, and then pull it tight 
to the ring. All right, now I'm going to cross and then I'm going to go from behind the ring through and then I'm going to pull that cord through the loop. So there you go. I have now got my two buddy ears and I should have one, two, three, four, five, six bumps, which means I've got like six lark's head or false lark's head knots. Okay, so that is my two bunny ears. All right, now again, if you need to, you could stop, rewind the video, go back forth until you're happy with it. The beauty about macrame is you can undo your cord and go and do it again if you're not happy with, with what you've done. Okay, right. So now with those cords that are spare, and you remember I said it's better to have too much than not enough. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie two together and then two together at the back and this will just secure it. Okay, so there's, I'm going to double knot it just to make sure. Okay, so that's those. I'll trim those in a second. And then another one. Okay. And then, as I say, I'm just going to trim those just because I don't want all those extra cords. If you wanted to, you could put a blob of glue just if you want it extra secure. Okay, but for now, I'm just going to trim those. And there we go. So we have now got two bunny ears. And again, you can just sort of like wiggle them and adjust them. And there we go. Okay. So there we go. Right, for the covering of the ring, which you can do if you want to, you don't have to. Uh, I tend to cover the ring, but some people don't. Some people just do the, the bunny ears and leave it as it is. But to do the rest of the ring, you want to cut another one of your cords, but this time we just need it to be two meters. Okay, so. There we go. I've just cut myself a two metre length. And again, I find this easier to work with upside down. Now this time we're not going to meet, uh, make the ends meet. Okay, we're just going to fold one of the ends back about 10 centimetres. So we've got like a 10 centimetre cord here. And there's our loop. But then the other side, it's, well, it should be about 1.9 metres, 190 centimetres, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, attach this to the ring with a lark's head knot. So I've got my tail, which is about 10 centimetres, and my loop, and then I've got my long cord. So that loop is going to go through the ring just as we did before open it out and then pull the long cord all the way through okay and there we go now you will have a little bit of an uh, excess cord here but that's absolutely fine because that's going to help it stay secure okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to make the false lark's head knot all the way around to cover the ring, okay? So we're going to go over the top of the ring, through the middle and bring it through, okay? And then we're going to cross that cord 
and then we're going to go from the back and we've got this loop here from the back bring that cord through there okay and there you've got your bump so you know you've got your false lark's head knot and we're going to do that all the way around so it's the nice same pattern so over through the middle of the ring through the loop then okay so then we're with this side we're at the right hand side so we're going to cross we're going to go under under uh, through the middle and I'm going to bring it through this loop here and there we go okay and I'm going to repeat that all the way around so I'll do another one over through the middle through the loop so that's a little rhyme okay over through the middle through the loop and then under through the middle through the loop right so we're doing over and then under so over through the middle through the loop under through the middle through the loop okay and can you see it's going to have that nice like bump pattern all the way around okay so do that all the way around and i'll meet you when we're done okay so i've gone all the way around now i've just got like a little bit left which again we can tidy up we can glue if we need to and then i mean the last bit is so simple it's attaching the flowers wherever you want them to be and the flowers that you've got are great because they you can um you can do them individually or you can do them in twos it's entirely up to you but all you're going to do is just feed the stem through a gap and you'll find a gap there we go just pull it through where's it gone there we go and you can either sort of like weave it through a cord or two let me just do that takes a bit of wiggling it's just to secure it there we go okay and then okay so there you've got that flower there you obviously don't need that rest of the stem so you can snip it off and then you can attach your flowers the rest of them however you want you might want one there you might want one over here you might want them all together like i'd got on this one um you might want to i don't know it's entirely up to you arrange them however you will I think for this one, in fact, that's two, isn't it? That's one. For this one, I'm going to do it on the opposite side here because, again, that is going to help secure the end of the, the cord. It might just take a little bit of wiggling. There we go. Got it. Pull it through. There we are. Okay. And then I'm just going to twiddle it, weave it back through, and then snip off the end. And there we go. All right. It's entirely up to you how you arrange the flowers. Okay. If you don't want flowers on, you don't have to have flowers on. You might want to put something else on. Okay. But there you go. And there is our simple macrame bunny all ready for Easter. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. If you have, please click like and 
also subscribe and make sure the bell's on so you're always going to be notified when I add a, um, a new tutorial. I've got lots of ideas um, and yeah, I shall see you soon. Thank you. Bye.